Okay, a night drive home in downtown. Oh, yeah, they haven't made the wipers any better. They do, they work well in the rain, but other times they don't. These LED lights and stuff trick them into turning on. of a weird intersection coming up here where the flashing yellow light is. It's like you never get a green light, you just get a flashing yellow right turn light. It's because it's at a busy uh, convention center. Now turn it right needs to get over. Okay, it, did. it never worked right with 11.4.9. Let's see if it tries to go here because this is kind of a weird intersection. Really poor visibility, too. I might tell it to go just because there's a car behind me. Thought it was going to drive over the curb there. It got really close, but it didn't. All I did was tell it to go, I didn't do anything else just because a car was waiting behind me. I guess that was uneventful. Now the rest of the drive will probably be pretty uneventful. drive where I bet uh, I won't have degraded FSD the whole drive. Or most of the drive. The street's dried up enough that it's not splashing up water on the cameras. too long because then it doesn't have room to pass. Watch it here. It doesn't try to get back. 
whoever that car is going to get forced into that lane. Switching over. Just looking at how big the fog of war is, or whatever you want to call it, the visible area there. Sometimes when it slows down, it's just the speed resetting to the, you know, 10% over or whatever. It's a new speed limit and you maybe changed road names or something. This definitely seems to either have enlarged or gotten a little more detailed. But it's been a while since I've had FSD beta though too, so I canceled it because it was frustrating. But now I'm getting every light red. But yeah, you can see a car quite a ways back at the intersection there. Fifteen mile per hour zone. Let me. I have to manually speed up. Like I said, that's just a really bad error. You can't let stuff like that into a commercial product. I've reported that bug four or five times now, so hopefully something gets done about it in the next update. I'll have to look at how much data my car is uploading. Whenever I'm using FSD beta, it tends to upload a lot of data. I, I can know that because it does that all over my Wi-Fi router at home and I can check the Tesla out and see how much it's using the network. I can't see what it uploads over you know, cellular data, so that's an unknown. Tesla, they have to pay for the cellular data. If they use the, my Wi-Fi, they don't have to pay for it.
CHR. I'm curious to see what the Cybertruck does. Is it gonna, you know, stay around, have staying power and in 50 years, you know, a lot of modern vehicles are styled like that? Or is it gonna be like something like other YouTubers have made the analogy like a PT Cruiser? It'll fade away after a generation or two. I'm curious to see what happens. See all the cars in Taco Bell parking lot. A few of them. Taco Bell is always busy late at night, it's fun. like to use the wrong lane to enter the roundabout. It didn't use its turn signal for some reason, but it drove the roundabout perfectly. Very smooth. It didn't almost hit the curb either like it did last night with the rain. Only stopped once and a half. lid on the street. Let's see what it does. 500 feet, turn left onto it Central it straddled it. It knew there was something wrong. It, you saw it almost stop there, but it didn't avoid the lid. I would have preferred avoid the lid, but it, it saw that there was something wrong and just went now ahead. Turn left onto Central Avenue. Interesting. It, luckily it straddled it so the person's lid is fine. So what happens here, you know, it's trash day. There's a car coming that's hard for me to see. The car probably has an easier time seeing it with its weirdly placed cameras, this angled street. But it happens on trash day is it was really windy overnight, so trash cans blew all over the place. The neighborhood group is filled up with, hey, I have someone's trash can. Exceptions, the number 
I'm gonna say that it's an order of magnitude improvement between 11.4.9 and 12.3.3 in terms of disengagements and how much I'm interacting with it. So if, in my personal opinion is if it took them, uh, what, say, two years to get an order of magnitude improvement, an order of magnitude improvement is a 10x improvement. If it took them two years to get a 10x improvement, if they can do that again in another two years, I think you could see full self-driving by 2030. You know, where it's actually Tesla taking ownership of it. But Tesla will obviously hesitate to take ownership of it because that's a big, you know, dollar amount associated with it. They would have to charge a lot more than they do for full self-driving. I bet they would have to charge twenty, thirty thousand dollars for liability, right? So, you know, if if they're going to take ownership of it, that means it's going to be level three. But then they're going to legally be held responsible when it's driving, right? So that means insurance and. They're not going to do that until they have a couple of orders of magnitude improvement from where it is today, where it's much better. But it drove, uh, how far did it drive? Let's see. Um, now i got to figure out where to get to that. Um, seven miles. And really the only disengagement was a map issue. So that's much better. Before, I would have had probably five or ten disengagements in that time. So, you know, five or ten down to one or zero or one is that order of magnitude. So, uh, I think, I bet, I'm really curious as to where it goes in the next five years. Is it going to be ready next year? No. Is it much better than it was last year? Yes. And now, as it is now, it's a very useful level two driving aid. I never felt that before with full self-driving until this release. Now enter the and I've tried it for a long time. But ever since it first came out, I was in the beta. You know, I made sure to get my 100 score, driving score, so I could get in. But I've basically done nothing since leaving the brewery other than five hundred feet turn uh, left onto Irish other Drive. than you know in the where it dropped to fifteen miles per hour there. Now and I'll have to here, but again Irish that's a Drive. known issue. I'll just let it sit here and wait for that car coming and see what it does. See it shows it flashing red and that's the problem, you know, the state's wrong. It'll just sit here forever. Tell it to go. So, yeah, it did pretty well. And when I say I was at the brewery, I, I never drink a significant amount of alcohol before driving. Always keep it legal. So, and safe, more importantly, safe. 